if you want it as bad as you want to breathe, if you really, really want it like you say you want it, you can have it. Don't believe the hype. Don't feed into it. If you work hard, you can't have it. It ain't nothing you can't have if you're willing to work for it. It ain't nothing you can't have if you're willing to persevere, if you're willing to stick in there, if you're willing to stay, if you're willing to fight. It ain't nothing you can't have. Listen to me, if you work for it, if you're willing to put in that sweat, that blood and those tears, baby, I'm telling you, you can have what you want, be what you want, do what you want. Are you hearing me? It's yours. I'm coming. I'm telling you, it's yours. It's yours. You can have it. It's yours. You can do it. It's yours. You can be it. It's yours. I could figure out and listen to what is inside my heart and inside my head. Something burned inside me. I wanted to be different. I was determined to be unique. I was driven to think big and to dream big. I always wanted to be very intense. I always wanted to be number one. I took it very seriously in my career. And so this intensity always paid off for me. This commitment always paid off for me. I didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times. I didn't want to just be a movie star. I wanted to be a great movie star that's the highest paid movie star and have the off the title building. Anything that'll shift your life, that'll get you to thrive in a difficult situation is take some massive action. Try something else. Change it, try it, move it. Progress equals happiness. If you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? bottom line is the fact that I realized that the, even the group of people I hung around with, you know, it was easy for me to think that I was doing a lot because I was doing more to try to move myself forward than they were. And I should be the weakest link in my chain <laughs> that I have. And that'll make me be stronger. It'll make me run faster. I mean, like an analogy I've always used is, all right, if you run uh, the hundred yard dash with a, a people that can't run as fast as you, yeah, you'll win. Hands down, you know that. But if you run with people much faster than you, all right, yeah, you might come in last every single time, but your time will be better because they're making you run all the faster. They're making, they're making you dig down just a little bit more. It doesn't matter that you run, your time is faster. All you want is for the pain to stop and to be able to breathe. That's your only goal, your only need. Same with success. When you want something as much as you want to breathe, you will overcome the pain, and you will achieve greatness. You gotta have a vision. A vision for what it is you really, truly want. A vision is about what you're here to create. A vision that really works is one that excites you. It has to be a compelling vision. It's gotta have something that has the power to pull you, not something you have to push yourself to do. Those are two different kinds of motivation. Push requires willpower, and willpower never lasts. What will last is pull. Having something so exciting, so attractive, so something you desire so much that you have a hard time going to sleep at night, and you get so up early in the morning to a rocket and take it to the next level. Stone unturned. That's what makes you a champion. When you're out there partying, washing around, Someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. But if you want to win, there's absolutely no way around hard, hard work. Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? What's the point of being realistic? You have to believe that something different than what has happened. You have to believe that something different can happen. Rather than feeling like you're at effect to all the things that 
are happening. Make a choice. You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. Your craft. I want to be an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. I believe that we are who we choose to be. How easy and how convenient is it for us to blame everything and everybody for the things that we have going on in our lives? There is a such thing as you being a positive and a great person with the best of intentions towards everybody and shit is rough and you just can't get a break. But most of you, most of you are waking up every day looking for pain, dysfunction, drama, unemployment, being broke, struggling, dropping every excuse in the book about your childhood and the problems and dysfunction that you grew up in that's stopping you from becoming successful. You don't like your friends, so why are you still fucking with them? You don't trust your managers, agents, and lawyers, so why are they still there? Do you really expect your life and career to be any different from messing with the same things, people, and situations? I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous sickening work ethic while the other guy's sleeping i'm working while the other guy's eating i'm working there's no easy way around it no matter how talented you are your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled talent you have naturally skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft